Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be looking at your CRA account. So it's just going to Google and type CRA. And the very first thing you will see is Canada Revenue Agency. That's the right one you have to go to. It's very important that you look at this, that it does come from Canada.ca. So that's how you know you're going to a legit website. So we're going to click right there. And again, to make sure this is legit, because everything could look legit, but it could be one of those fake ones. Just look up here and make sure this looks like so. So as long as it says www.canada.ca revenue agency, you're in the right website. Once you're there, just scroll down and you will see down here, sign in to CRA account. So we're going to sign in. Once we do that, again, we have to scroll down. And you're going to see my account, my business account, or represent a client. At this point, we're going to go into my personal one. So we're going to go into my account. And even if you guys have a business, you guys can still go into my account, your personal account. Just scroll down once again, and down here below, we're gonna see sign in with partner login, or we can go right into your CRA login, which is what I like to use. So that's just using your login credentials. So we're gonna go right there. Once we click there, we should see this, please wait. And finally, we're gonna see the login. So I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit. So the very first part is going to be your ID and then your password. So your ID is not your email address, by the way, it's the ID you created. So whatever username you guys have and then password. Once you put in your username and password down here below, you will see on the left hand side login. After that, it might ask you a secondary question in order to get in for some of you. And then finally, you will come into this page. If you scroll down just a little bit, you will see your tax returns plus your assessment. So in this case, we're going to be looking at our assessment. Plus, this is where you could go ahead and pay up any income tax balance that you guys have. So once again, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And our very first option will be to view our notice of assessment. This is the same thing, whichever notice of assessment that you have at the moment, scroll down a little bit, where you're going to see your payments. So this is where you could pay your income tax balance. So this is how much I have to pay right now. I can go ahead and proceed to pay. Of course, I don't have to do it from here. I can log into my bank account and just do it from there. But for now, I'm just going to be looking at my assessment. So I want to look at that. So I'm going to go right into it. Once I'm here, I can see my assessment. So I can see everything that's due when I have to pay it and my entire summary so I can keep scrolling down. However, most of you will want a PDF of this. So in that case, let's just go back. So on the top left hand corner, just click to go back. Once we are back in the middle, we should see view mail. And that's where we can get our PDF right away. So click on that middle where it says view mail. And right here, if we scroll down a little bit more down, we will see right here our print formats, which is PDF. So the latest one that I have is this one right here, PDF. So I can just click right there. And when I click there, I should see a message, something like this. If I'm using Safari, I can just allow and it should start downloading that PDF. How can I check if I downloaded the PDF? Well, on the top right hand corner, I should see something like this. Click on it. And I'm going to see my notice of assessment, which is in my downloads folder at this point in time. If you're using Chrome, for example, Google Chrome, then you will click on the bottom left hand side, you will see all your downloads. However, right now you guys can just go right into your downloads folder and check out that PDF. From here, we're always going to see on the left hand side, top left hand side, going back to overview. So if you would like to see more of your Canada revenue information, and to do everything, go right into here, go into overview, and you guys can get started right there. Anyways, that would be it for this introduction video. If you have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.